hello welcome to my channel this is Jay and in today's video I'm going to show you how to side chain in your beats so without further ado let's get right into the video okay I have a beat right in front of me right here So now what you need to do is you need to go to the kick channel you need to route it to the to the base channel right click side channel to this track go to the base channel and load up a dynamic EQ now what what is a dynamic EQ a dynamic EQ is simply an EQ with a compressor that's the only difference between a regular eq and a dynamic eq so now side chaining is we want when the kick hits the the, the volume of the bass reduces to make room for the kick so that it fits nicely in the mix so how you do this we're going to do this using uh tdr nova a very very uh, good plugin. I'll leave the link of the download. It's a free plugin, so you can download it. And what you need to do here on T TDR Nova is go to the to the side chain. You click that. Go on the settings. Go on processing, and auto map. Go back to the plugin, and now. we can sidechain so what I will do is I'll, I'll move this to where I want to sidechain where I want the kick to sidechain I drop down the threshold. This is the amount of gain reduction. This is the ratio. This is how much side chain you want of the kick to hit the base. And you can adjust the Q2. I think that's that's okay. Let me hear a bit. So you can adjust it to your liking whenever wherever you feel the kick and the bass is okay so you can do this not only for the kick and the bass but even melodies and other instruments on the channel so yeah this is how you side chain with a dynamic eq if you like this video hit a thumbs up subscribe to the channel Hit that bell notification to get notified and I'll see you in the next one guys. Cheers.